y'all. Welcome back to my channel, At Home with Willowberry. Or if you're new, welcome. But where have you been? I'm so happy to see you here. My name is Valerie, and in today's video, I'm doing a living room makeover in this old mobile home that we're renting. So if you're interested, I hope you can stick around and enjoy the video. I'm going to be doing a makeover on the living room in this 1996 mobile home that we're renting up in the mountains of Virginia. But first I want to say thank you all so much for over 1,500 subscribers. I'm so thankful and overwhelmed that so many of you have found my channel and that we made it past 1,000 subscribers. I'm coming up on one year on YouTube and I'd like to do a Q&A video for making it to 1,000. So please leave me lots of questions down in the comments and I'll start working on that video as soon as possible. Again, thank you all so much for being here and watching my videos. I have so much fun making them and sharing them with you all, and it means so much to me that you're all here watching. Alright, well, let's get into the video. My husband is about to retire from his job that he's been at for over 30 years, and we're selling our townhouse. So we recently moved into this mobile home that we're renting in the Virginia mountains. We're renting the trailer while we are looking for a house to buy. We rented the mobile home sight unseen, and unfortunately it was in really bad shape. It was so bad that we almost walked away, but the location was perfect for what we were looking for, and it checked off all the boxes for what we wanted in a rental. I painted the living room walls in a previous video, and then we moved our belongings into the mobile home. I've been slowly unpacking boxes and fixing up the trailer, but today I'm finally ready to get in here and get my living room in order, and I'm going to start by painting the damaged laminate wood floors. They are in really bad shape and should probably be replaced, but that's not in the budget, so I'm going to give them a nice updated look with paint. I'll be using a porch and patio paint in the color chowder. Before I started painting the floors, I had already got them prepped. I first cleaned the floors really well, and then I used a deglosser to remove the shiny finish from the laminate. I actually demonstrate this step later in the video. After deglossing the floors, I put down two coats of primer and three coats of patio paint. And after I'm through painting the floors, I'm going to start doing some decorating. So let's go ahead and start this video. I want to do it all with you by my side. If you're in, meet me here tonight. Be brave and come along. I'll be your right. We don't need no break lights We can travel the world So just say yes Choose to do whatever comes next This or that Getting drunk on whiskey on a Tuesday night But drinking well I'm by an open fire Make love or fight This or that It's a brand new day and after a long night of painting, I'm ready to put down the third coat of porch and patio paint in the color chowder. And once it dries, we will then move the couch and boxes to this side of the room and start the process all over again. I'm going to be painting the floor in three different sections because it's a several day process and I couldn't block off the whole living room for that long. Yeah. 
After the third coat of paint dried for a few hours, I had my boys help me move the couch and boxes to the other side of the room. I then went ahead and hung the curtains on this side and called it a night. I'll get back to painting in the morning. Some white curtains from Amazon and to be honest I'm not crazy about them and I end up finding some that I really like from Walmart so I'll be changing the curtains later on in the video. I am so in love with this view of the mountains. It's one of the reasons we decided to go ahead and rent this trailer and fix it up while we're staying here. So it's early the next morning and I'm going to be prepping this side of the room for paint. I'm going to be using a degloster on the laminate wood floors to remove the shiny finish so that the floor paint will stick better. And while the floor is drying from the degloster, I'll be hanging a shelf over the island. The slats in the wood floors are separating and it left huge cracks in the floor. So I previously filled them in with patch and go and then sanded them down nice and smooth. Now I'm using a degloster on the floor and once that's dry, I'll start painting this side of the room. When I wake up early in the morning and when I come home at The cabinets hanging in the kitchen came out of our previous home. We had a kitchen fire in our townhouse and the cabinets were all replaced. So we were able to reuse some of the old cabinets here in the trailer. But we didn't have enough to go over the island and it looked so bare. So I'm going to go ahead and hang a shelf here to try and fill the space. Just a call away You don't have to be afraid You don't have to be afraid I'll keep you safe all night and day I'll be where you wanna be Yes, I'll be where you wanna be I really like how it turned out, and the shelf matches the cabinet perfectly. How did you like my little chicken, pig, and cow? That's my inspiration to remind me why we moved out of Northern Virginia into the mountains in the first place. We want to find some land to start a little hobby farm, and I really want some chickens and goats, and also learn how to start growing some veggies. 
Moving into this rental while we're house hunting puts us one step closer to our goal. All right, well now I'm ready to start painting this side of the living room. another long night of painting I'm now putting down the third coat of paint called chowder but I already want to change the color the other side of the room where the paint is dry and we've been walking back and forth between the kitchen and the front door has become so dirty and you can see every speck of dirt or muddy footprint I have to remember that I live with three very active boys and two dogs and this floor just isn't going to stay clean so I decided to go ahead and repaint the whole living room I picked a color that will blend in with the dirt better the color is called creek bend but I think it looks like chocolate milk. But if you ask my boys, they say it looks like poop. So there you go. Poop color it is.
like these curtains. I'm so glad I found them in Walmart. Now, once the floor is completely dry on the other side of the room, then I'll get the boys to help me move the furniture, and then I'll be able to finally finish painting this floor. together nicely. I'm sad that my rug didn't get here in time for this video. I ordered an area rug on Amazon that is coming next week, but I really wanted to go ahead and share this video. There's a few more things that need to be done before the living room is complete. We're going to stain the island, paint the front door, and replace all the electric outlets. But so far I'm really happy with how it turned out. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments. 
And don't forget to leave lots of questions for me to answer in a Q&A video. And I want to say thanks again for watching my video and subscribing to my channel. It really means the world to me. Alright y'all, that's about it for this video. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.